Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, I'm going to show you guys the step by step breakdown of how I created this money motion graphics project from beginning to the end. And also, by the end of this video, I will refer the tutorials and share the links for the techniques I used in this animation project. So, watch till the end. At the very beginning of this project, I did some brainstorming and noted down a few words that I can think of related to money. For example, notes, coins, online transactions, e-commerce, cards, blockchain, and the list goes on. Then I started doing some research on these keywords to get some idea about this animation. After that, I picked up pencil and paper and did some thumbnail drawings and put all the ideas on paper. At this stage itself, I finalized the elements and thought of the overall animation flow. I also did some rough animation at the first place before trying out the final animation to check out the motion and get the overall feel of this animation. So after everything is decided, I started doing the final illustration. So I jumped into Adobe Illustrator and started doing the illustration using the basic shapes. For this project, I reused some of the elements from my previous projects. I also had some cards and money illustrations which I never got a chance to use. So I did reuse those illustrations and updated the colors based on the color theme of this project. And here I am with the final illustration of this animation project. So then I separated the layers as per my requirement to prepare the file for animation in After Effects. So this animation starts with a phone screen with an online banking app. Then taps on the transfer button, some notes comes out of the bank door and goes inside the laptop. In the laptop screen, the cursor clicks on the pay button and the payment bill generates from the laptop. And then some cash and coins flows out of the laptop and falls on the pile of cash and then zooms out of the locker and then again continues zooming out of a bank to the mobile screen. And the whole thing goes on a low. So this is the overall idea of this project. Now let's check out the After Effects workflow of this animation project. So before starting the animation in After Effects, first I thought of how to lead the viewer's eye throughout this animation video. So which is also known as eye tracing technique. So this animation starts with a phone frame in which by default the viewer's eye's attention is on the center of the screen. Then when the notes comes out of the bank, the viewer's attention immediately shifts on the notes and the eyes follow the path of the notes and then when the notes goes inside the laptop, immediately the cursor moves in a curved path and clicks on the pay button. So here the viewer's attention immediately shifts from note to the cursor due to the continuous movement. Then some notes starts flowing from the laptop and the eyes follow the path of the notes and down to the cash pile. And then the whole scene zooms back to the phone screen, which brings the viewer's attention back to the center of the screen. So throughout the sequence, I try to make the motion continuous. And this is one way in which you can apply eye tracing in your motion design projects. So in After Effects, I started with the first frame. So here to animate the fingers, I used the rotation property of the layer. While tapping, I slightly rotated the thumb in Fake 3D. So I adjusted the shape path a bit. For the money motion, I first pre-comb the money illustration and then added pins on the pre-comb and then converted the pins into bone layers with the help of the Twig Basic plugin. And after that, I parented the bone layers in a chain to distort the layers like a paper. After that, I animated the money in a motion path and then distorted the node along with the path curvature. Then inside the node composition, I converted the node illustration layer in 3D and then added a complete 360 degree rotation along with the motion path. Then in the same process, I animated the other nodes. To animate the coins in 3D, here I used a technique called extrusion depth. So that allows you to create a 3D object in After Effects without any external plugin. To apply it, you need to first have a shape layer. So if you want to apply it on an illustration layer, then you have to first convert it into a vector shape. Then you need to change the composition settings. So in 3D renderer, you need to select the Cinema 4D renderer. Once you selected this renderer, in layers under geometry options, you will get 
extrusion depth. So by increasing the value you can increase the depth of the 3D object. And like this I created this 3D coins. I used the same technique for the door animation and also for this curved 360 degree rotation. For the camera movement in this project, I didn't use the 3D cameras. I just added a null and parented the comp with it and then used the position and scale property to follow the motion path. And here is how it looks. So these are the steps I followed throughout the project and this clip is ready to render. So that is it for this video. I hope you learned a few important tips and tricks to help you in your projects. If you want to check out my other motion graphics project breakdown, then you can find the video link in the description or you can click on the i button on the top right corner to check out the video. Now if you want to learn how to rotate a coin in 360 degree in After Effects then you can check out the tutorial link from the description or you can click on the i button right now to check out the tutorial. And also if you want to learn how to rotate a full body of a character in 360 degree in After Effects then again you can check out the tutorial link from the description or you can click on the i button on the top right corner to check out the full detailed tutorial. Alright so that is it. If you like the video then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the techniques then make sure to comment down. I would be happy to help you out. And if you are here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates. Until then. Goodbye.